This is the solution to written homework 37. Okay, so we have a positive H. Uh, okay, find the average rate of change. Okay, so as a reminder of the definitions of these things. So the net change of F on an interval A to B that is uh, f of b minus f of a. And then the average rate of change, so average rate of change of f on a to b. <coughs> is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. OK, so this is what is being asked for. <coughs> so <coughs> uh, on this particular exercise, that would be uh, f of x plus h. Let's, let's write it right here. So that would be f of 4 plus h minus f of 4 over 4 plus h minus 4. <laughs> OK. So then the denominator can be simplified because the fours cancel and all that would remain in the denominator is just an h and then 4 plus h well that would be 3 over 4 plus h uh, and then minus 2 because that would be x minus 2 and then minus evaluated at 4 that would be 3 over 4 minus 2. Well, 4 minus 2 is 2, so that would be 3 halves. OK, and then we are asked to simplify this as much as possible. So in the numerator, within the numerator, we can find a common denominator by cross multiplying. Okay, but before I do that, I'll observe that uh, the 4 and the, the plus 4 and the minus 2 can be canceled uh, to be 3 over h plus 2, and then minus 3 over 2, and then this over h. Okay, so now I'll cross multiply within the numerator to get 6 and then minus 3h plus 2 and then this over h plus 2 times 2. So that's what's happening in the numerator. And that's all over h. And now notice that when you multiply out this, you get minus 3h, and then minus 3 times 2 is 6. So this is 6 minus 6. So all that remains in the numerator is negative 3h. So negative 3h, and then over h plus 2 times 2 and then that over h. <coughs> and so now, <coughs> a further simplification can occur because dividing by h is the same as multiplying by reciprocal. So this is could be written as negative 3h in the numerator and then over 
h plus 2 times 2, and then multiply by 1 over h. And then now you can see these h's will cancel because h is not 0. And we get negative 3 over h plus 2 times 2. Okay. So find the average rate of change of this one. Okay. Well, again, now the answer, part B, is easy in comparison to part 1. So this would be g of 4 minus g of 1 over 4 minus 1. Pretty straightforward now. Okay, so that would be <coughs> that would be uh, square root four minus square root one over well four minus one that's three. Square root of four is two. Square root of one is one over three. So one third. 